Hello and welcome back. On this video, we are going to learn how to create your very first chatbot on Marketing Master IO. So first, make sure that you have already enabled the Facebook page that you are going to use to build a chatbot. To enable your Facebook page, all you have to do is go to Facebook and Instagram, go to import social media, and then you would see the list of pages here. In this case, I have already enabled the page that I'm going to use on this lesson, the Chuck's Burger page. So to disable the page, all you have to do is click this disable switch and then your page will be disabled. Click the switch button again to enable your Facebook page. Now that we have made sure that our Facebook page is enabled, we can now go to Facebook and Instagram and then Chatbot Flow Builder so that we can start building our first chatbot. All right, we are now on our Flow Builder dashboard. So as you can see, we don't have any data yet because we have not created any chatbot flows. So to create our first chatbot flow, all you have to do is click the Create New Flow button, and then we are going to enter the name of our flow, and then click OK. All right, so this is the Flow Builder interface. We have elements here that I'd like to introduce to you. The first element is the Doc menu. The Doc menu contains all the elements and utilities that you can use to build your chatbot flow. You can minimize this menu by double-clicking on it, and you can move it around and you can also expand this menu by also double clicking on it. All right, so for now, we are going to minimize this and then let's guide you to the elements of your chatbot flow builder interface. So this is the input field where you can change or you can edit your flow's name. And also this is the active bot persona. The bot persona feature allows a business to introduce a virtual persona into the flow. Bot personas are only shown on Messenger app, either it's on iOS or on Android. For now, we are not yet going to build our bot persona, but later on in our lesson, I'm gonna show you how to build your bot persona. Just leave it as is for now. And this is your action buttons. So you can save your flow here, you can arrange your bot elements, and you can send a test, or you can go back to your chatbot flow dashboard. And this screen is what we call the chatbot flow editing screen. The very first element that you are going to see here is the reference element. The reference element marks the start of your chatbot flow. So you can move elements anywhere in the screen, you can zoom in, and you can also zoom out. Now, how does it work? I'm gonna show you how it works. Let's first build another element the text element. So to build our first text element, all you have to do is click on this element node, click on that, and then drop it on another screen where you want to place your text element. And after that, choose what element you are going to create. In this case, we are going to create a text element, so we are going to choose text. All right, congrats. We have already built our very first text element. Now, how do we configure our text element? To configure our text element, all you have to do is click this, and after clicking that, the configuration pop-up will show. So in here, you can build your message. Example, hello, this is my first message. You can click confirm changes, and after that, you have successfully configured your text element. Now, let's save our flow, and we are going to preview what this flow looks like. All right, so we have already saved our flow. The next step is we are going to send a test. Click the send test button right here. But uh oh, we have an error here. So it means that we must first enable the get started feature in order to send a test. We can learn how to enable this by clicking the learn more button here and we will be redirected to the documentations here. So there are two ways to enable the get started button. The first step is by configuring the Get Started button on the Get Started page. So we need to go to Facebook and Instagram and then the Get Started um, page. Another way to enable our Get Started feature is by enabling the Get Started feature inside the chatbot flow. So we need to create a trigger and then enable the Get Started button there. On this lesson, we are going to enable the Get Started feature using the second method. Enable get started using chatbot flow. So to do that, let's go back to our chatbot flow dashboard And then I'm gonna introduce to you to another element that would help us achieve this the trigger element So to create a trigger element you can right-click on anywhere on the screen and Then the menu would show up on the menu choose triggers and then 
the trigger element would show up. So we are going to drag the trigger way up here. As you can notice, the trigger element does not have an input node. It only have an output node. So this is the output node. Unlike other elements, like the text element, where um, the text element have an input node and an output node, the trigger element only have an output node. So to connect this, we need to connect the output node to our first text input node. So click on this and then connect on our text elements input node. All right, so you have successfully connected your trigger element to your text element. After connecting our triggers to our text element, we need to configure this trigger. You would notice that we have an error here. So if you hover onto the error, we would be able to see what the error was. So there are um, missing configurations for this element. So to remove the error, we need to configure this element first. So we are going to click the triggers to configure it and then the configuration pop-up will open. So we are going to choose what trigger type we are going to use. So since we are going to enable the Get Started button, we need to select the Get Started option here and then click OK. All right, congratulations. We have just created our first trigger element and we have used the Get Started as the trigger type. The next step is we are going to save our chatbot flow. All right, so we have save our chatbot flow. The next step is we are going to send a test. Remember before that we were not able to send a test because there was a warning that we have not yet enabled the get started button. Now let's try it again and see if we have already resolved the error. So click send test. And as you can see, we have seen a new message now. We don't see any error because we have already enabled the get started button. So now let's click test now and we should be redirected to messenger. All right, congratulations. We are now inside messenger. So whenever a subscriber first sends a message to your page, they would see the get started button here. And once your subscriber clicks on this, it will trigger the very first text that we have created on our chatbot flow, All right? So that's how to create a get started button and how to send a test on your chatbot flow. On the next lesson, let's learn more how we can build a simple chatbot flow and we are going to introduce another element to build a better flow. So see you in the next lesson.